um, <clears throat> for today's exhortation i have taken the portion from uh, romans 10 um let's read together um brothers and sisters my heart's desire and prayer to god for the israelites is that they may be saved for i can testify about them that they are zealous for god but their zeal is not based on knowledge since they did not know the righteousness of god and sought to establish their own they did not submit to god's righteousness christ is the culmination of the law so that they uh, there may be righteousness for everyone who believes moses writes uh, this about the righteousness that this by the law the person who does these things will live by them but the righteousness that is by faith says do not say in your heart who will ascend to heaven <clears throat> or who will descend into the deep but what does it say the word is near you it is in your mouth and in your heart that is the message concerning faith uh, that we proclaim if you declare with your mouth jesus is the lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from dead you will be saved for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved as scripture says anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame for there is no difference between jews and gentile the same lord is lord of all and richly bless all who call on him for everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved how then can they call on the no, one they have not believed in and how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard and how can they hear without someone preaching to them and how can anyone preach unless they are sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news but not all the israelites accept the good news for isaiah says lord who has believed our message consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is uh, is heard through the word through christ about christ <clears throat> let's pray thank you lord for giving us this time to meditate on your words uh, speak to us through this message lord and exhort us um, Uh, from the message which you are uh, pouring in our heart oh lord thank you lord thank you lord for uh, protecting us so far and being with us and blessing us abundantly oh lord in jesus precious name we pray amen uh in the roman stain i uh, specifically uh, want to focus on the verse 14 how then can they call on the one they have not believed in and how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard and how can they hear without someone preaching to them and how can anyone preach unless they are sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news so um <coughs> this is about uh, the paul is talking to people about uh, reaching out to others <laughs> by by saying that he says a lot of people today are unreached and uh, how can they be saved if they cannot hear about the gospel if you are not going out and preaching gospel to them they will be Uh, unreached and they will never have that faith which you have and if they do not have faith they cannot call upon the lord calling upon the lord comes from the belief or faith you have and the faith is is coming from the hearing of the word of the god word of the lord right so <clears throat> uh if if we uh if we just see the 
the owner uh, of uh, Starbucks he has prepared one model and that model is replicated everywhere any city you go any country you go the same Starbucks model you will see right so no need to put your head just follow the model which is given by the owner of Starbucks right what is the model given by Jesus Christ here right so, so he has come up with two two models he as a person how how he is with god as a personal that is one model and the other model the ministry how he has set up his ministry and how we can follow that model which he has set up for us right <clears throat> he uh, he himself went out reached people and gave gospel to them gave good message to them he did not sit at home keep praying saying i am holy so i cannot go in the sinners and yeah, if somebody wants to uh, hear they should come uh, come to me and uh, get saved that's not his uh, ministry was he himself reached out to people he traveled a lot throughout the three and a half uh, years of ministry and that's how people heard about him that's how people saw him and that's how they want to become like him right and that's what uh, uh, paul is uh, uh, trying to tell israelites here and uh, uh, if we uh, if we also look at uh, luke luke 10 1 to 12 let's quickly look at it so what uh, this is Luke 10 verse 1 to 12 is about Jesus sending the people up, uh, before him going to those places he is preparing uh, uh, go ahead after these things the lord appointed 70 others also and by two before his face every city is where he himself ought to go then he said to them Harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest and send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandal, and greet no one along the way. But whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to the house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return. So when Jesus are sending people out who did he choose he chose people he did not choose preachers those are those were not eloquent uh, bible preachers who went out before him two by two and they have Jesus have gave specific directions what they need to do when they are going out right so so today when we are following the model what we are doing we are we are also coming together to hear the message sunday by sunday right and um, oh, we are meditating on the words we are learning from the god's words but but what are we missing here are we sending out people to reach the unreach are we following the model fully right where are we missing here and uh, uh, so if i want to go out and reach out to the people do i need to be a preacher for Uh, uh for reaching out the people we i i just need to go out to people just the way jesus said prepare the ground for me and he will do the work uh once you prepare the ground you don't need to be uh, converting people you are just the messenger of 
telling the good news to them it is up to god who is going to do this work of uh, giving the faith in their heart uh, and uh, reaching out to the calling upon the lord is coming from the belief they have got in their heart but the main, the main trigger is to reach out unless they are reached they will not hear unless they will not hear they will not have faith if they do not have faith they they cannot call upon the lord right these are the uh, uh, main points i wanted to uh, put in front uh, from this romans 10 um <coughs> hope this helps you and uh, <coughs> meditate on these words uh, thank you everyone